Now, uh, if you're elected, as is, as is expected in November, you uh, would be the first or maybe one of two of uh, uh, black, openly black gay males in the US Congress, a first. Um, what would that mean to you? It would be tremendous. You know, I, I've said that I'm not running to make history as the first openly gay black member of Congress, but uh, I, I know the power of representation. Representation, uh, later in life, helped me to come out. You know, it was, it was uh, watching Noah's Ark, which was the first time I'd ever seen uh, openly gay black men in loving relationships. And it was, it was, it was uh, learning that Frank Ocean had written so many of the songs on Channel Orange to another man that helped me really feel comfortable in my own skin, so to speak, and, and to come out to my family, my friends um, later in life. And, and of course, growing up poor, black and gay, I never imagined that someone like me could run for Congress or, or, or win. And so, so much has changed. I'm really grateful for it. And I know from the conversations that I've had with people throughout my district and this country and just the messages that are, that are being sent to me uh, that, that this is, that my run is, is already helping people to live their authentic lives. And I, and I love that I'm able to be of, of help to someone uh, through, through merely existing and, and running openly and proudly. So I, I'm looking forward to, to that and also to bring my lived experiences to the policymaking context.